Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little, I guess, all over the place. Um, so I, I want to show you guys some things that are just going on around the house. Nothing like huge, but you know, I don't often just have like a video where that's just random. You know, usually there's like some sort of like this video is about this or this video is about that but on this one I just kind of want to take you guys around the house um, show you some things and yeah just I guess kind of have a little bit of tour sort of I don't know let's just go let's just go with it let's get started so this room that I'm currently in this is our office and it has these lovely built-in bookshelves I'm not sure if these are original with the house. They're probably not, but we like them. They're pretty cool. Also, let me show you something else. So this is our like family room. Um, we call it the brown room. And there's Mr. So he, we upgraded his cage probably about a month or so ago. And in the store this cage didn't look as big as it looks right now, <laughs> as it looks right now but his other cage was pretty small um so we upgraded him and this cage was on like clearance i paid like 25 dollars for it and so now he has this big ginormous cage hi buddy i can't have him out while i'm filming because he gets in the stuff so yeah so that's this room over here is where I keep a lot of plants in the winter um, they get a lot of light from these two windows so I just kind of pack them in these are things that um, typically aren't I'm not able to fit in the living room so they anything that I'm not able to fit in the living room and dining room usually comes over here for winter And they're all looking pretty good. I, a lot of times I do neglect this area of plants. And then over here, we got Miss Cashew and then a couple other plants in that corner. Hi, Missy. She's a good girl. Okay, so let's head out. Hi, buddy. We got Stormy eating. Hi, Storm. Hi, Mama. You eating? Yeah. Okay. So let's head. I don't think I've showed you guys my seed starting setup. I filmed a video about like getting my uh, shelf put up and all that, but I just felt like it was just too boring. Um, I didn't talk in it, and it was just kind of boring. So here's our living room. Those are my staghorns. Got plants over here. So this wall, I've actually been working on it since last year, just trying to do, find some things that I really love and hang them up. So like quirky things. Um, yeah, so I got the buffet last year, which I really love. Um, got it from an antique store. I've got all my books that I won in an auction. I paid about 17 bucks and got over a hundred books so that's just a part like a few of the books they're all kind of scattered around but I'm starting I mean I really love how this wall is turning in like what it's turning into and I'm still like on the hunt looking for um, more things to add to it this right here this is my favorite I found this at our local Goodwill but looking online on eBay there's so many more of these here's the artist if you can see that it's so cool so it's made out of real um, leaves and seeds so it's pretty cute I like it I almost I might grab some more just because I just love the way it looks and I love that it's made out of like actual leaves and things my terrarium I really hate this terrarium I liked it at first but now that it's aged it just does not look that great let me see if I can put turn this light on and shine some light in it 
I'm not great. But it just doesn't look that good. So I don't know. I might pull those plants and put new ones in. I'm just not sure. I'll turn that off. So here's my seed starting area. Um, I got a lot of different things going on here. This is kind of like my overflow. So I've got these I've purchased recently. So we've got this Dahlia. This one is Pinelands Princess. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Tricertus. Okay, I did pronounce it. Uh, anyway, but I got these from Walmart. My Walmart just got their um, bagged things in. Bleeding hearts. These are all, I'm working on my shade garden this year. Got some ferns. This one is the ostrich fern, which I love. I have a bunch of ostrich ferns um, in my garden right now, but I need more because I don't want to move the one, the ones I have to other places. I like where they're at. This one is a cinnamon fern. We've got a stilby, and then these strawberries that I need to um, get potted. So all these are, besides the dahlia, are perennials. Um, Technically, I can just put them in the ground and they should wake up and be fine. But I'm going to pot them just so that I can make sure that th that they actually like grow. So as, as soon as I put something in the ground, like I kind of forget about it. And plus, we have squirrels that dig up things and then you know our cats are going outside so they're digging in the dirt too so i just want to make sure things are growing well before i just stick them in ground i also have these still be here i think i got these from lowe's there's three in there here is my big bag of dahlias this i buy this every year from sam's club and this year they actually like put less usually it's like um 15 bulbs and this year it's down to 10 so yeah it looks like everybody's cutting back but this was about i think this was like 15 bucks or 15 bucks i think which is a really good deal and then here i have my asparagus that i'm going to get planted out now these i'll just put straight into the ground wherever they're going to go I also got an extra elephant ear. And then here are some seeds that I started yesterday and I just, I need to put the cover back on. Come on, buddy. These covers stay on until most of the seeds sprout, then I'll take the cover off. Here are my hookra that I brought in from the garage. They're up ready to go i got some blue fescue that i brought in these guys were over wintered in the garage i neglected them last year once they got outside for summer i completely neglected them barely watered them barely paid them any attention so i brought them in early so i can wake them up and then once they start growing really well then i will pot them up into the next size and then hopefully I'll get them planted out in the garden this year. So let me sh back up and show you my seed starting shelf. I like to eventually get a second shelf, but for now I'll just work with work with what I got. It can be so expensive trying to update things every year or yeah. So this year Unless I find a shelf that is super cheap or on clearance, I'm just gonna stick with this for now. Let me show you something really cute. Hi! It's the babies! It's the cheeky babies! So these silkies we hatched in February, so they're a month old now. They'll be five weeks this week, but we hatched them early February. I bought hatching, silky hatching eggs from eBay and what I was hoping, at least based on what the seller showed in her pictures and said, I could hatch naked necks, frizzles, 
and regular silkies and that's exactly what we got we have two naked necks we have two frizzles and then one that's looking like it's going to be um like a more silky traditional silky um chicken so yeah so excited i am ready for them to get outside they are hitting the point where they are like needing to be changed very often they're tearing up the uh uh, puppy pads that are in there and yeah they're just they're really messy right now they're getting bigger so yeah they won't be able to go outside probably until our weather warms up quite a bit and stays warm but they're they're still really really young and they're not fully feathered so they're gonna have to wait So if we turn around, here is my living room table and it is a wreck. So I've got houseplants, seeds going, grocery list, books that I'm perusing. It's kind of like this, this is a wreck to me. This is chaotic and it's chaos and this is the way that I'm living right now, in chaos. We've got aspen bedding on the floor, chicken stuff right there. I've got my worm bin. I've had a couple of worms escape that I need to clean up off the floor. So I absolutely love keeping plants on this piano. And yes, there's my husband plays piano. None of the none of the rest of us do. And he doesn't play it very often, as you can see, because it got taken over by the plants. But that's not why he doesn't play. It's just he just doesn't play. So this side of the room is also pretty cluttered. Let me show you. Got my big bird of paradise here. I need to do some pruning on this. He's got one branch that is kind of dying back and I need to cut that. Got some small things here. My Monstera Thai constellation is so cute. This is the newest leaf. It's so cool. I like really love having this plant. It grows very slow, but it's super easy to take care of. It has, it's really like no bother at all. Like it's not fussy like some other plants. So this right here is my whole house humidifier. And I won this at an auction, just like I did with the garden books, for $1 one dollar i was literally the only person who bid on it and i got it for a dollar which is awesome so i use this to help during the winter time to keep my plants you know looking good and it works so well that it oftentimes i'll have it up too high and the windows will be um moist like they'll be foggy so yeah so this table I want to like thin out these plants. Um, I'm trying to work through my collection to figure out what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, and instead of in the past just trying to keep every single plant, no matter if I really liked it or not, um, I'm kind of like, I kind of don't have the patience for that anymore, so I'm looking to keep the things that I love not bringing a ton of new stuff in here unless it's something that I really 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 want and have been thinking about um, just trying to make make life a little bit easier um, simple simple is best for me 
so yeah this is this is our living room and thankfully we have doors to this room so I can keep all of the animals out which helps keep the chickens safe the chicks safe and also helps me keep you know these plants in great condition because I don't have you know a dog tail beating on the leaves or him digging his nose into the pots and I don't have cats eating plants or digging their you know digging in my pots to use the bathroom or anything like that now the plants in the brown room our entertainment room they don't bother those but they like usually if it depends on the texture of a leaf whether like my cats are interested and they really like the fur like um palm leaves so like that really um thin skinny skinny leaf they really like that so i don't keep any of those anymore and everything else they kind of just ignore all right so we're gonna head out of the living room and head to the dining room um i'm actually supposed to be grocery shopping but i don't feel like it so i might do it tomorrow or after I finish this video but I like grocery shopping really just sucks the life out of me it is so annoying and it's just so annoying I just don't like to do it um, but anyways let me show you what's going in the kitchen now our countertops have some dishes on them so just beware okay before I show you like don't worry the dishes will get done so look, let me flip this around because that's not good. So this is our kitchen window and this is what I wanted to show you is we've got some hanging plants. We've got an orange garland that I made two years ago. Still going strong. Still looks amazing. Um, I love it. I've got some plants up here. It is so, the lighting is not being friendly. But uh, got some things up here on the ledge. And I really love this window. I love the light that it gets. Um, plants do really well in this window. Come on. It is so, this. it's just so bright outside. And then I've got some air plants over here. Come on. Okay, yeah. Air plants over there. Um, but yeah, I just, I like to keep my spaces planty. Come on. Oh well, we'll just carry on. Right, so we're heading to the dining room. Come on, buddy. And this is where I do most of my indoor filming for you guys. So when I'm creating those, you know, planting this, repotting that, it's in this room. And this is the dining room. It is also a wreck. And yeah, it's just, it's just the season. I'm just doing so many things. I just kind of leave little messes, little, I, I like to call them little tidy messes everywhere that I go. So here are some plants that look great. Here are my elephant ears. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen with these elephant ears. To be honest with you, I'm kind of not, have not felt in the spirit of planting them. And I don't know if I'm going to have as many that I usually have each year um, this year. I just don't know. I just, I'm just really not, and I just can't get, I just can't get myself to plant them. And I think part of it, I kind of lost my steam when I was, when I was trying to source soil and just could not find it anywhere. So I think... And I was looking like hard for this soil. The soil that I like is the pro mix soil in the red and black bag. And typically they have it at Walmart like all year round. Um, and I just haven't been able to find it. I haven't been able to find it in store at, I've tried multiple Walmarts. I have not found it. Um, I tried to buy it online, cannot get a hold of it. And then I did find some at Home Depot but it was like double the price so yeah it's just it just became like 
exhausting and I need I have to buy a lot of soil I need a lot of soil so I have to be careful where I buy it which is why I didn't buy it from Home Depot because I don't want to pay double the cost for that so I've been buying other soils which are fine but I don't know I just kind of lost my steam in February just uh, about planting those bulbs so we'll see um, it's March now I can still start them and still have a really great season with them but as of right now I'm just kind of like I don't know I don't know I don't know so I've got this stuff on the table I've been planting herbs and strawberry seeds and all kind of stuff I just cleaned these pots so that I can pot up my peppers and some other things that are ready to get to the next level and yeah this is this is what it looks like when I film this is the room my caladiums are down there they got planted a few days ago and I did not water them in yet only because their bulbs were pretty moist already um, from the soil that they were in so I decided to kind of wait um, let the soil that the new soil kind of pull that moisture and then I'm going to water probably like today or tomorrow um, water them fully and then let that soil dry halfway up if not more before I water again just because the caladiums are so and a lot of bulbs so sensitive to overwatering, so I really want these guys to do well. So I'm gonna try to be patient and take my time. Last year was a horrible caladium year for me, but yeah. Here is an elephant ear. This one will go outside. This one will go outside. And right now we're just stringing them along, trying to get them through till till May after our frost free date but yeah here we go here's the room so you saw the little chicks that we hatched the little silkies let me show you their big sisters they're not related but you know they're gonna be their sisters and I don't know what the silkies are they could be hens or roosters combination of both I don't know yet but let me show you where they are going to stay and show you their sisters. So there they are. Uh oh. Hi, honey. Hi, buddy. So here is the big run that we just put in. Um, these, this is where the silkies are going to go, but these are my girls. This is our first round of chickens. We got them as chicks from Rural King, and we love them so much. They're so funny. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily sweet, <laughs> but they're funny. They're friendly. And they're our girls. Hi, babies. Hi. You're so cute. So we've had them since they were about three days old pretty much. I, I ordered them specifically through Rural King. We just recently put this run up and I'm trying to come to grips with how it looks and but I am looking forward to trying to spruce it up over over summer. I've got a lot of great ideas definitely thinking about starting sweet peas in these pots so that they can grow up there doing some Swiss chard rainbow Swiss chard all the way down for color and I was also thinking about the um, what's it called the I believe it's a spinach vine I can't remember the exact name I've grown it before but the spinach vine and letting that kind of climb up because it's edible like I want to grow all edibles um, along this chicken run especially things that are edible for chickens hi baby did you lay an egg hmm? 
All right, it's chilly. Let's head back in. You coming, buddy? Come on, mister. Come on, mister. There he is. There's my, my kitties. There's my kitties. Come on. They're running straight to the food. That's what they do. It's everything centers around their food bowl. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a, a little walk around the house. Um, I don't know what I would call it. I guess a tour of sorts. But let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.